You're watching UNICEF Television. The quake and the strong aftershocks have left almost unimaginable suffering in a country that is ill-equipped even at the best of times to meet its basic needs. Schools, homes and roads have been destroyed and there are not enough medical facilities to treat the wounded. UNICEF has begun deploying supplies from Panama and will drive them into Haiti from a base in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. It had the center here just about 17 kilometers from Port-au-Prince and the destruction in the city is uh, uh, unbelievable. We don't have any indication yet of the number of people that have been killed or injured, but we are talking about thousands. This is a big uh, disaster for Haiti. One of the poorest countries on earth Haiti's infrastructure was close to collapse even before the seven-point earthquake struck near Port-au-Prince. The most important supplies we are sending in now are family kids and kids and family kids have cooking equipment and everything that family needs that have basically lost everything. And then we would need to send in medical supplies and UNICEF have standard uh, medical kits that we know, that have all the medicines we know are needed in these situations. UNICEF's priority is to make sure Haiti's children get vital help as soon as possible. It is estimated that 46 percent of Haiti's nearly 10 million people are under the age of 18. The special needs of children for food, shelter and protection must be factored in at the very onset of relief efforts. One of the crucial needs of the population will be clean water. And we need to get in as quickly as possible the collapsible tanks for the families and the tablets we use to purify the water. So uh, this is like the first response wave is to make sure that people have access to clean water. The UN Stabilization Mission headquarters was among the Port-au-Prince buildings severely damaged by the quake. Troops worked through the night to find those trapped in the rubble. At least 150 UN staff members are missing, and UNICEF and its sister agencies are trying to account for them. This is Chris Niles reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.